Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, this is Josh. Hi. And today we have uh, E-Flight electric retracts. And what we're gonna do is we're actually, well, what we have done yes. is we are going to put these things on a plane that they weren't necessarily meant for. Yeah, never designed for. But Park Zone said, can't be done. We said, yeah, it can. And then, we, and then we did it. And then we did it. And then, but we'll see how well it actually works out because we haven't flown it yet. Yeah. But we'll see, it looks yeah. good so far. It does, and it works good too. Absolutely. It looks good and works good, which is so far two good things. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. But good in front of anything, it makes it good, Josh. Yeah, we said good So about. anyway, what we have here is the uh, T-1000, named after T uh, one of my favorite movies, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. That, that guy that was scared the crap out of me. T-28 Trojan. T28 oh, okay. Trojan. Yeah. 28. Yeah, Park Zone T28 Trojan. Well, anyway, let's show them first. This is how it comes. Okay. Normally. That's no it. No retracts. No retracts. They don't move. They're Park just there. Points. Yeah, look. Just. And frankly, I'm a little nervous for them. Any rough landings that they might pop off. No, these are very strong. Are they? Yeah, I'm yet to see anyone rip their landing gear off without doing more damage to the airplane. If the landing gear's coming off, I'm thinking. You're gonna be going to the parts store to buy some more parts. You're so down. You're done. Yeah. So it's a very, very strong setup out of the box. And we wanted to keep that, but also we didn't want to use many parts. Right. We want to make this as simple as possible for you guys. So hopefully over the weekend, you can just sit back at your leisure and uh, put these retracts on and be done with it. Exactly. All right. Well, why don't we talk about the wing first? Okay. For you guys, I would say start with the wing first. It's the easiest. And uh, also what we're gonna do is we're gonna create patterns. Not up yet, but when you guys see this, you can go to our website and we're gonna have patterns for the cutouts on this wing. You'll be able to print it out, line it up on the wing, and you know exactly where to cut out. Now, if you notice here, we actually have the hard points uh, that were originally on the stock landing gear right here. We reuse those because they're really, really good. They're really useful and they're strong. So rather than having to put wood dowels in there and, and, and and go through a lot of uh, work with that. We went ahead and just modified the original ones. Just cut them, them out right here? Yep. Now there's a couple really key points here. This is very simple, but what you do beforehand is much more complicated and you wanna take your time and do it right. Uh, the way the plane stands on takeoff is very, very important. And what you want is you don't want your plane sitting any different than what it was in its original condition. You want a nice, slightly positive attitude. You want the plane to sit nice and level and you want your prop clearance, everything to be the same. If the plane's sitting in a negative attitude, what you're gonna have is a really fast run along the runway and the second you give up and it overcomes that negative incidence, it's gonna just skyrocket into the air. Be really ugly, yeah. it won't be good. Mm. So we don't want that. So we took extra time to make sure that we put the landing gear in the proper location so when it folds up and folds out, it's in the exact same location on the wing and that's what that pattern will give you. Okay. But to show you how we did it, we took the stock landing gear and the stock pivot point, this is where it was on the original one. Right. We just turned it on the outside, and when these go in, this is where it's gonna be. Okay, so we reversed it. So, so we reversed it okay. and flipped it around, and that way we could tell exactly where our wheel wells needed to be, keeping that location the same. Now obviously with this being built out, that's why we had to slide the whole thing further out uh, for it. Right. But it's as simple as that. You want everything to be the same, and also with the height of the landing gear, we wanted that to be the same too, so that's what we did here as well. With the wing, we didn't need any really additional hardware or anything. No. We just modified what we originally had. Right. So four screws was all we had to add for the wing. But the nose? A little bit different, different story. story. Need some hardware. Lots of it. Well, lots, lots of it. it but that's extensive. It. There's probably a parts bulletin on there or something, right? Uh, you think so? No. Well, I'll organize it and make it look not so bad. There you go. There, there you go. go. All right, so what we're gonna use is rather than, than going the complicated way and making all these complicated mounts like our first attempt, mm -hmm. we're gonna use leverage and, and the plane's natural strong points to, to put the nose gear in. Right. All right. Not to put any stress on any of our important hardware or anything like that. Exactly. Because the last thing you want to do is, is modify an airplane and go out in the field and break it. And break it in front of everybody to mock you. They will laugh. They will laugh at you viciously. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. You don't want that. I know. He does. Uh, first thing I noticed is that it is not in the same spot as the original. You are absolutely right. We had to uh, move it forward. And the reason why is because if we were to keep it landing in the same area, yep. when it goes to retract, 
you'd be running right into this mount right here. And everyone likes the wings to stay on. That's exactly right. Yeah. So we decided to keep the mount. Strong landing gear and wings staying on. Two yeah. good things. It's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. So that's what we did. We had to move it forward, but when, once the gear sucked up, it doesn't look any any different. It looks really, really nice. And even on the ground, it said that, that is aesthetically. Yeah. It aesthetically looks great. I know. So it's no not big a simple deal. word. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard word. But what we did is we did have to mark it and do some cutting in two different ways. Mm -hmm. All right, first way we laid out, and we'll have a pattern for you guys once again here, is uh, our main area right here, okay? Obviously take off your cowling, take off your, your prop, all that good stuff, expose the area that you're gonna be removing. Okay. The second thing we did is after we established where this needed to be, we had to go down to the firewall. Right. All right, right in here. See these side okay. cheeks there? That's your existing firewall here. We, side we, cheeks. Side cheeks. We removed the uh, nose gear. And where when some those gears removed, there's a nice little pocket in there. Mm -hmm. All right. We want to recess the landing gear enough so when it's folded back, as little as possible is showing. Okay. And that's why we have this down right here. You don't want drag. Exactly. And there's a nice little shelf and there's some common points there that you can actually see where we cut along. And so you want to take your time and make sure it's recessed alone. We'll do our best to get some measurements because we're going to have a, a build log on our website right. with picture by picture so you can see exactly what we did uh, beyond this video. Yeah. All right. But there is one cool tool that we use to get this plastic routed away, and it's this right here. Isn't that awesome? What is it? That goes on your Dremel, and that chews away plastic just beautifully. Oh. Yeah, you just go right down in there, and you can put on your Dremel and just, just chew it right out. Nice, clean edge. It's just beautiful. Nice. It probably goes with your Dremel kits, but it, it's good stuff. Go ahead and pick one up, because it'll make your build log even easier. If not, you got saws, you got razor blades, things like that. So you used to shave? Yeah. Thought so. Yeah, pretty good. Next okay. is the sticks. The sticks. The sticks. Now, the reason why we went with these sticks, why don't you show them our first, our first attempt? Yes. It was a failed attempt, because you can see it's broken. We got mad and we crushed it. Yeah. Our first attempt was actually to make a plate that would sit down in here without cutting through this firewall, would sit down in here and then fasten on both these sides. The problem is, is if you have a landing gear and you have a hard landing, all that force bending back the only thing gluing and holding it to the, the structure is gonna be just the sides here and here. Right. All right? Mm -hmm. It's strong and it'll probably hold as long as you make nothing but nice landings, but yeah. we don't do that at flight. We don't live in a perfect world. No, no, we don't do that here. No, we don't do that. So, what we did is we used these longer sticks. There's, Support. There's a nice hard point underneath here, underneath here that you can't see right now, but trust me, it's there. And you can actually extend those sticks under there and extend them there. It'll be right underneath the hard point of your wing. All nice. right? Mm -hmm. Now that's your, that's your lever. Okay. Your fulcrum is gonna be right up on this firewall and right underneath the firewall, you can actually drill two holes. And that's where we use zip ties. That's where you use the zip ties, right there. Zip ties. Yep, you zip tie that sucker in, so this is really, really strong, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the stock push rod, because we moved it forward, is not gonna work. You gotta use a longer push rod. Right. So this probably is the only thing you need to go to the hobby store to pick up, Okay. besides your retract kit. So all in all, it's a very, very simple build. Take your time, do it right, you know, measure, do your cutting just once. You don't yeah. wanna cut through your wing and everything. And yeah, speaking of cutting, you wanna make sure whatever kind of plan you have, take into consideration. I'm so sorry. Are you? Take into consideration the thickness of your wing. Make sure you don't cut all the way through. Yeah, because that's a bad day. That is a big deal. Oh, you know what? We should probably check the CG on this to make sure that's the same as the original. That is brilliant. That is brilliant. And you know, luckily, we have a stock one, as you saw earlier. So why don't we go ahead and measure that? We got two and a half inches back. Let's go ahead and flip it upside down. Right there, and this has the battery in it. So that's where that one is. Okay. All right, you have this one with the battery in it. All the way forward, just like the other one. A little bit no more nose heavy, huh? It is, yeah. Now here's what we do, guys. The nice thing we can do with this, because where the battery is, mm -hmm. we can simply just slide the battery back okay. until it's balanced properly. Right. Now, what we'll probably have to do is we'll probably have to modify this. This actually keeps the battery, once it's closed, from sliding too far back. Right. So we'll probably have to notch this out, put some Velcro on here, but before we go out, we'll go ahead and have it balanced properly. Okay. So there's no other materials or weight we need to put in the airplane other than the stock uh, retract system. Oh, okay. And uh, we're good to go. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Wanna go fly? Yep. First, we gotta modify this. All right. All right. Couldn't ask for a better winter day. That's you for couldn't. sure. This is January, people. Yeah, it's nice too. It's crazy. Well, basically we're gonna main it, right? Yep. We've First never time. flown it yet, so nope. all, all my talk about it being strong and working perfectly is we'll see. totally about worth what I said. Yeah. So now we're gonna no. try it out and see if I'm a liar or not. All right, why don't we go and plug it in real quick? Okay. We did notch out the uh, battery compartment. Oh, thank you, Chad. Oh. We did notch out the battery compartment. 
and put some Velcro in there. So we're good to go there. All right. All right. Want to see? Show them how it works. Yeah. Here we go. Look. It's Going. up. It's down. And from a different angle. It's up. It's down. Okay. You like that? Well, narration? that's about it. Thanks for watching, everybody. No, we're gonna fly now. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> all right. We check all our controls here, and we're good to go there. And uh, the wind is calm. Yeah. No wind whatsoever. No way. All right. Let's go. That was a real eventful takeoff. Brilliant. And there you go, guys. Flies hands off. Hands off. Totally like. Uh, let me see if I can need to trim it out. There we go. It flies just like a stock Trojan right now. It's great. Let's go ahead and suck up the gear real quick. Ready? Okay. There it goes. Wow. wow. That, that was pretty smooth. It, you saw it. Didn't even pitch, did yeah. it? Yeah. Uh-uh. Yep. CG still feels the same. Wow. <laughs> and it looks, look how much cooler it looks too. It looks awesome. It looks awesome. Yeah. Nothing. No, nothing bad about this. This is a great, great mod. Want to go down again? Okay. There we go. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and uh, shoot for a landing, okay? Okay. We'll go ahead and drop the gear. And we're intentionally landing it on the gravel. Yes. Because it's sure to be rough. Well, we more make rough, it rough than, yeah. I'm gonna move wherever you move. There you go. Nice. That was, that was awesome. That was great. That was uneventful, but awesome. It That's works great. Like. It's hey, durable. It didn't crash. It held up. Yeah, it, it totally flies the same. You can take your hands off the controls, flip the gear, and it will not change pitch whatsoever. Okay. This is perfect. Can I try it? Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah. Let's put a new battery. Let's in put it. a new battery and get it. Okay. All right, man. Okay. You're gonna love this. I hope so. All right. I want to give you control. Okay. Go ahead and get cycle the controls there. <sighs> you good? All right. Let's do it. Okay. Nice takeoff. Thanks. What's your thoughts? Get out of the sun first. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Smooth. Man, you're flying great. Thanks. Why did I even put you on a buddy box? I don't know. Because you're sorry. scared. But it's okay. We can keep it that way. Yeah, I think we do want to keep the retracts. It's like now. adding an extra mistake. Yeah. Well, it lets you push it a little bit farther, too. That's true. Man, you're doing great. Thanks. Should I pop up the. Yeah, go for it. There you go. There you go. What do you think, flight-wise? Characteristics any different? No, it's no. It seems the same to me. Dude, you're doing great. Thanks. I, I got it. To the sun. That's okay. <laughs> I got it. Well, do you want to try landing or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's Here. Give it a shot. It's already coming towards you too. Yeah, throw it all the way back now. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Just bring it on by you. A little back pressure. Beautiful, man. That was not hey, beautiful. No, that was beautiful. And here's the thing. We said the landing gear was strong. You landed it. It's still there. I think we need to go inspect it now. What do you say? Okay. All right, let's do it. Man, that was awesome. Uh, it was not real awesome. Well, let, let's check and yeah, see what, check if out. we have any damage. Uh, you want Got it? it? Yeah, I'll, I'll right, go ahead and cycle okay. it. All right. Looks good. And All right. we check in here. No, nothing broken. It, it's perfect. I'm going to go ahead and kill that battery yeah, real quick. Let's drive let's, let's yeah. it crazy. That well, was awesome, brother. Uh, I was trying to get it back over top of the uh, driveway, and uh, just it wasn't as nice as I wanted it to be. You know what? Here's the thing: is for people getting into four channel flying, that's a typical landing. You know, for your first couple of experiences, and you got it on this narrow driveway. You got it really close, man. And, and the hard thing is, we always talk about using the aileron, pushing it towards low, right. low wing. There's really no trick for rudder, but your rudder's backwards too. Okay. And when you get down to that last little bit, you do got to use your rudder to yeah. kind of steer the plane and crab it over. So. You did a landing on a four-channel plane that you've never flown before going towards you. I and think that's pretty awesome. The landing gear is awesome. still intact. I'm yes. working. And the landing gear, and you stress test the landing gear. You wanted to see how it was. And oh, I stressed it out, that's for sure. Yeah, that was a good, rough landing, but no damage to the plane, no damage to the gear. That's what we wanted. It's a winner. All right, we want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Rise and Hobby for sponsoring this episode. You can go to our website, flighttest.com. Check out our forum. I want to get you up in the air with yeah, this let's, again. Yeah, let's, let's do it. it. All right. See you next time.